Hi everyone, welcome to Smriti Special. We're in my home kitchen today, and I'm going to show you how to make a black rice coconut pudding. Now this recipe is inspired by our traditional payasam, which we make for anything and everything in our culture. I am Tamil, and we make it for everything and anything. And uh, so today, in the occasion of Pongal, since Pongal is going to come very soon, we always make something related to rice. And there are traditional recipes from my mother, grandmother, like other people in my house for traditional pongal desserts, which I will be sharing with you in the future. But this is like kind of my take on it. It's Indian inspired. It's kind of a twist on the classic. So let's get started. Now what I have here is some black rice which I soaked overnight. Now black rice has, this is whole grain black rice, so it has a lot of fiber as well. So this needs a long time to soak. So this is about eight to nine hours of soaking. You can even soak it for 10 hours. Now I'm just going to drain this. We don't need the liquid anymore. Okay. And then the rice is going to go in this Skillet here. This is actually a simple recipe if you look at the ingredients, but it does take a little bit of time, but it's okay sometimes, you know. Okay, now I'm going to roast this until the rice is nice and fragrant. You don't want to burn the rice, you just want that, you know, that nutty flavor to come through. This might take about a minute or so, depending on how much heat and the kind of skillet that you have, okay? So, this is looking nice. Once this is roasted, I'll show you what to do next. Now, this is turned really nice and fragrant. I love black rice. I just love it. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add some ghee. Now, if you don't want to add ghee, which I suggest you do, you should, um, you can add some coconut oil into this. Don't add vegetable oil, don't add any of those other things. Just add something which is very nice and fragrant. You can add butter if you want, but ghee really works well here. So the ghee kind of gets incorporated and the whole rice becomes nice and nutty. Now to this, we are going to add our can of coconut milk. Beautiful. Let me just get rid of that. And I'm also going to add some water. Okay, a cup of that. And now, you know, now is the waiting period because this rice takes a long time to cook. But remember, the more love you give this, the more amazing it's going to be when it comes out, okay? So this is going to be cooked in about an hour, an hour and a half. Depends on how well the water is absorbed into the rice. About when it's going to get cooked, about an hour or so afterwards, you have to add your sugar into this. Before that, you don't want to add the sugar because then the sugar will caramelize into the whole process and we don't want that. So once this cooks through and becomes nice and chewy, I'm going to show you what to do next. Now after about an hour and a half of cooking, this is what this looks like. At the one hour mark, I added the sugar and cooked this further. So now this rice is really nice. Okay, now to this, we are going to add freshly squeezed orange juice. Now I highly recommend you use freshly squeezed because obviously that will give you the best flavor. And then just mix it up. 
mix it along. Now this is going to be on a very low, low heat because this is only to kind of mix everything together and heat through. We don't want to bubble this too much after adding the orange juice. Okay, this looks so nice and so fragrant. Wow, just amazing. Okay, and once this heats again, we are going to add some milk chocolate to this. Now, this again is not a very Indian ingredient, but this is my take on it. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy it as well. So let's add some milk chocolate. Now, my recipe might not be sweet enough for some people because I don't like my rice puddings to be very, very sweet. I don't like my pie sums to be very, very sweet. So if you feel like you want to add more sugar, just go ahead and do that. So while this sits on the heat, what I have here is a mortar and a pestle and some spices. So I'm going to add some cardamom, some cloves, just getting this out of the way. And what I have here is some homemade candied orange peel. If you want a recipe for this, let me know in the comments. Or you can just buy some, you know, good quality candied peel. And then I'm just going to crush all of this together until it's kind of like a powder. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Halfway through, I removed the cardamom peel so it doesn't get into anybody's mouth. Uh, now this is going to go in here as well. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Just give this a little mix. Ooh, smells so, so, so good. Okay. Now we're gonna take it off the heat. And now we are going to put some add-ons. Just a reminder for you guys that we run an amazing online pastry school with professionally recorded sessions. We have classes from amateur to advanced level. And if you guys want to up your pastry game or your baking game, then you got to check it out and enroll for Smriti Special Online School. The link for this is given in the description box below. Now, I have another little skillet here and I'm going to add some, this is just some shavings of coconut, dry coconut and we are just going to roast it up until it's slightly golden so that the flavours come out really, really well. It smells so good. And I'm going to do the raisins next and then the almonds. Once all of it is roasted, we'll put the whole thing together. So I roasted my coconut here and the almonds and the raisins. And now I'm just going to add everything in here and I'm going to save some for the top. So just... Take that, nice bit of crunch throughout the whole thing. Some almonds and I'm going to save some for the top. Now you can always add more or less according to your liking. And then the raisins as well. Beautiful. Ah. And it smells so good. All right. What I have here, since this is a fusion recipe, I'm going to serve it in some margarita glasses. Of course, this is just for show. You can, you know, just serve it in a bowl. Nobody cares. As long as it's beautiful and delicious. So I'm going to just... Take some here. Okay. 
Now one thing you have to remember with black rice is that it's going to be a little bit chewy because it's full fiber which is really good for you instead of like the regular white rice. So don't think that it's not cooked, it's just chewy. It's like, it's, that is the lovely texture of it, okay? Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of this coconut on top. Yum! And then the almonds. I love nutty, nutty, nutty things. And coconut, of course. And then the raisins as well. And then finally, since we have orange in this recipe, I'm just going to put a little orange candy, candied orange on top. Maybe a little more. And that is my beautiful black rice coconut pudding. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of how this is looking right now. And because of the glass, you can see all the textures. It's so beautiful. I and mean, I'm going to give this a taste because paisam is one of my favorite things ever. And since this is a fusion, I just want to make sure everything is good. Mmm. Mmm. No. The sweetness is getting cut with all that orange zest which is in there. Mmm. So good. Make this for Pongal or for any other festival or just a Sunday night whenever you want. It's super, super, super delicious. And whenever you make this, send a picture to me on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Think of me in your celebrations because I love to see your recreations. Like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more delicious vegetarian recipes. I'll see you again next time. Bye!